I've had a lot of questions since opening day. How are the Brewers coping with their delayed baseball season? Well, we caught up with Josh Lindblom, who certainly has had some interesting moments in isolation with his family. So I've been growing my beard out, and instead of just shaving it all off, I decided I would do some different things with it. Um, <laughs> and uh, this is what I came up with. So my kids are not very happy with it, so they're getting to pick uh, what comes off next. I think they're going to go the Nike checks off next and then leave kind of the handlebars and the mustache, and we'll see where, where it goes from there. Is that Tiger King inspired, Martin Van Buren? What is that? I have watched the train wreck that is Tiger King. So it's it's a little bit Tiger King inspired. I went and got some of my kids' stuffed animals downstairs, and I laid the elephants and the tigers and the lions around me um, just to kind of enchant my inner, inner Tiger King a little bit. <laughs> His son Palmer took baseball's postponement hardest. Uh, it's about 65, 70 degrees here in Indiana, and he has been outside from the time he wakes up until the time he goes to sleep, just throwing a ball up and hitting it to himself. And he's had special moments with his Spitfire daughter Monroe and a dad moment with daughter Presley. Interesting tidbit about myself. I didn't learn to ride a bicycle until I was 15 years old. I was never home in the summers. I was always playing baseball. So I just never learned how to ride a bicycle. So I was a freshman in high school before I learned how to ride a bike. So some of the, some of the blessings in this, obviously I love to be playing baseball, but yesterday I taught Presley how to ride a bike. Lynn Bloom's family has been affected by the pandemic. My sister's a nurse. I'm proud of her. My wife's cousin's a nurse and we're proud of them for being on the front lines. But uh, we recently had a family member that did test positive for um, COVID-19. So where does he put his hope and faith? You know, for me, it's it's Jesus. Uh, knowing um, the story that he tells throughout, throughout the Bible, um, that the world is not the way it's supposed to be, um, that in hope, uh, one day he's going to remake the world. Yet the Brewers pitcher feels there will be a time when baseball can help heal. You can't compare the events of 9-11 to this, but you look at how sports united everybody. Um, and for me, you know, one of the most iconic sports moments ever was when George Bush walked onto the uh, mound in Yankee Stadium and threw out the first pitch. You know, and as athletes, uh, we have a responsibility now to bring fans together when we do come back. He's staying in shape. Being in Korea the last few years, I've invested in some different things at our house. So I've got my own gym. Um, and honestly, trust the old Mr. Net. Just a good old net is what I use. Uh, he's, he's the best catch partner. He, he shows up on time. He never complains. And wants Brew Crew fans to know this. We miss you guys. Um, we'd love to be playing in front of you. Uh, I, I know I'm missing out on it. This is going to be my first year, uh, just how exciting it was. And to have to change that, um, it stinks. But... We're with you guys. Um, we're still working, still getting ready for that day, and we can't wait to get back in, in front of everybody at Miller Park. Once sports comes back, whenever that is, the Brewers and baseball could be one of the biggest helps to giving people some fun and relief from the real world.